Lord Sugar joins us now live. Good morning, Lord morning. Sugar. Thank you for calling us. And have you enjoyed the series so far? It's a Wembley challenge tonight, isn't it? Yes, it's very good. Obviously, I have uh, seen the episodes beforehand, but I uh, still watch them as they go out live and enhance the uh, enjoyment of the viewers by tweeting along with yes. it. Lord Sugar, I asked uh, some people on Twitter today to, to give questions that they wanted from you. One of them, a lady called Esther Pugh, she says, are, there, are your contestants potential business geniuses or are they just chosen for entertainment? Um, they're not chosen for entertainment. Um, they've all got, uh, you know, some of them have got businesses of their own and many of them are, are, are in business. Um, it's just that um, those people that tweet to you and some of the commentators that look into the programme who, who call my apprentices idiots or brain deads or whatever uh, don't realise the pressure that they are under. And if some of those people who comment about it were stuck in the same pressure uh, and had to perform uh, to try to win the two hundred and fifty thousand pounds prize, uh, they would turn out to be they would be doing the same. Uh, they would be carrying on the same. Who's How the most Who's the most successful apprentice you've hired and and worked with? Well, I, I, I don't want to put a, a name to it because I think there's been a lot of uh, successful ones. As the last, the last um, six series um, have uh, changed, as you know, it's uh, uh, it's no longer a job. It's uh, a fifty-fifty business partnership with me, and every single one of them is very successful uh, and making a load of money. Um, you know, and they've changed the lives of of these people. They've all bought houses. Many of them got married, and and um, you know they're, they're employing loads of people. So it's a, a life changing moment. And what's been great when we speak to the evictees the following morning is you can tell not only how much they've enjoyed it, but also how much they miss it. Because although you're right, the intensity and the pressure must be immense. Also, they really all of them seem to have taken something from the experience that we've spoken to. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they all say they would. You know, that, that they don't regret doing it and the only thing they regret is leaving early um, and that's because um, you know they know the real truth of uh, of the competitiveness and uh, uh, of what has gone on you know the sad thing is Lord Sugar when you talk to them you know they they all kind of take it on the chin but but what you really hear in their voices is the missed opportunity they know that this was a fantastic opportunity yeah and, and they feel it and you can you can just hear it in their voices it's actually very sad yeah, well, not. I mean, it's not for you, it's not, it's for you. You fire them, helpful. but it is. Yeah. It's you, they know they've lost something that potentially could have been fantastic. Yeah, well, it's an unfortunate side effect, but uh, of an elimination process, you know. What's you fascinating know, though is when you when you all, so when you assess their personality, sometimes I can tell you you're obviously thinking yes, they have got business acumen, but also you talk about some people blaming others not being team players. Is there a kind of fifty fifty split there? Is it their personality as much as their business style or their success, or is it more one way or the other? Um, very rarely do I allow someone who's uh, timid uh, and perhaps not as uh, vocal as others to get fired because of being bullied by other contestants. So um, it's really down to their business acumen. It's as simple as that. Right? I can see through all the, all, all, you know, um, all, all, all the kind of uh, shouting and screaming, uh, and it's the business acumen of the person that wins them through in the end. Lord Sugar, can we talk to you a bit about a bit about Brexit at the moment? You know, you've seen yeah. the story today in the papers that uh, Donald Tusk is saying that uh, uh, there's still time for us to to say we don't want to leave. That we could actually, you know, we could drop Brexit altogether. What do you think about that? Well, you know, I mean, Donald Trump, I mean, with respect, um, you know, doesn't really know what's going on uh, here. Uh, we can't uh, reverse it. Uh, there are some people saying we can reverse the um, uh, the vote of, of the public. Uh, unfortunately, we can't. Uh, and the the only the only way that can happen is if 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 we we reach an impasse with the other 27 nations in in unreasonable and untenable um, uh, untenable terms um, for leaving. Um, so I'm afraid, he, you know, he 
um, doesn't know what he's talking about. As far as <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Now, would you be favour, Lord Sugar? You can, you can, you see what's happening every day. You're checking in. Would you be in favour of us walking away if there was no deal and going on to WTO rules? Well, I mean, it's no point talking about something like that because we can't walk away. The British government, the, the British public, have voted for something, albeit that most of them didn't know what they were voting for. Uh, no, no, I mean walking it, away. If 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 the EU don't give us a, a deal that we that is good for us. Well, uh, I, I, in all negotiations, if you meet, if you reach a, a brick wall, um, you can walk away. But the trouble is, is that if you walk away, uh, then um, what are you? You know, are you uh, out of the EU or are you still in the EU? And I think that because we've we've, we've filed this Article 50. We will be out of the EU, stranded. Uh, and so, you know, unfortunately, it's a kind of an untenable situation. We can't walk away. Uh, it's nonsense. You know, anybody talking like that, it's absolute total nonsense. It's 40 odd years of relationship we've got to unpick. Yeah. And if you had a choice between, say, Jeremy Corbyn, Theresa May, and Donald Trump, to whom would you say, Lord Sugar, you're fired? Uh, well, definitely Corbyn. There's no question <laughs> of that. Uh, I mean, you know, the, the, what they've done to him recently. I mean, he has a, 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 main, a main transformation. Um, I mean, I think they, someone took him into Matalan and bought him a suit, had his hair cut, <laughs> and bought him a tie, uh, and then manipulates him from the back like, uh, like, a, uh, like a ventriloquist is dummy. So they, they've, they've changed his looks. They've changed what he says. They've turned him into a liar. Uh, a, a, a la Donald Trump. In other words, promise, promise, promise everything uh, and win over the electorate. Um, and then um, when it comes to, if he ever gets the opportunity to implement, uh, he will do like everybody else does, nothing. Um, so, you know, they've, 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 turned him in, they've turned him into that. Um, I suppose that um, if I had to vote for somebody, it would have to be Theresa May if she's still around in 2000 and, uh, um, 2022. Do you think she will be? Well, I think look, if she plays her cards right, there, there's, uh, there's, no, there's no reason why she won't be. I mean, the point is, is that unless there's a revolt in the Conservative Party and she's ousted, and I don't know how they do that, there's some, reason, there's some way of them doing it, um, but um, I, I think it would be very stupid of the Conservative Party to allow a, 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 an election until, um, you know, five years' time. Mm. And the show's back on tonight, The Apprentice, 9 o'clock. It's been a brilliant series so far. We're asking everybody this this morning, Lord Sugar, because we're learning today that something like a billion pounds was released last year from fixed penalty notices for driving. I don't know if you still drive yourself very often. Have you got any penalty points on your licence? Uh, I did have, yeah, for going through, uh, uh, for, um, what did I get? The last one I got was um, shooting through a light, yeah, red light in Loughton, yeah. But that was about three years ago, so I think it's off my licence now, yeah. Okay.